Hi everyone, so this is the second bid, second lesson for, what's it, I think it's the second bid, second lesson. Oh, you're doing harmonics anyway. Oh, so this says, sometimes they don't tell you which one to put it in. Like on the previous example, let me switch back page, it told us that the four cos theta plus three sine theta is r cos theta with a minus, and the 12 sine theta and five cos theta is r sine theta with a plus. First trig function, first trig function. Cos, different sign, sign, same sign. That's all you have to remember, roughly, if that makes any form of sense. So let's have a look at this one then. So, starts off with sign, so it must be sign. Starts off with cos, so it must be Cause. Starts off with sine, so it must be sine. Starts off with cos, must be cos theta. So now a look. Now sine has the same sign. If you look, the plus minus is a plus minus. It's the same. Whereas on the cos, it's the opposite. So for sine, it's the same sine. So that must be a plus alpha when you choose it. For sine, it must be the same sine. So that'll be a minus alpha. So sine gets the same sine. But cos gets the opposite. So cos with a plus makes up the opposite, a minus. Cos with a minus gets the plus. There we go. Now I think that's actually the end of that lesson. Uh, there are some consolidation questions to do. But I think it's really, really nice. All you have to do is Pythagoras of the two numbers, do the second number divided by the first number and inverse tan it. Just make sure that you ignore a sign, ignore the, 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 um, uh, the minus sign. I'm tempted actually to show you one more quickly just to kind of help you along. So if we had, oh, that's our three sine theta minus uh, four cos theta. Right. So that's going to be sine. That's a minus, so I'll get a minus there. So to find that, r is just 3 squared, 4 squared, so r is 5, keep it simple. To find alpha, it's the second number divided by the first number, which I think we've already done it. And I ignore the minus, and that's the important bit there. So I ignore the minus. Otherwise, you'll get the other angle, which you don't really want. Now, have we done an inverse tan of 4 thirds? I don't know why. We must have done somewhere. Oh, tan of 3 quarters, but not tan of 4 thirds, I don't think. But hang on. Hang on, somebody pause a sec. So there we are, so I've got that, oh, it's gone, where's my calculator gone? 53.1 degrees. So tan is 53.1 degrees. So my three sine theta minus four cos theta, so I've made this one up, is five sine theta minus 53.1 degrees. So if I wanted the max, I just think about this red box, about what gives us the, the biggest numbers, because that bounces between minus one and one. Change that one now. Okay. Um, so you've got to think, all right, if I make that red box into a plus one, it will make it as big as it can do. If I make that red box into a minus one, it will make it as small as it can be. 
Now that might not be the case because it might be a binary time, it might be part of a weird and wonderful equation. But my general idea is that it's max when the red box is equal to 1. And it's minimum when the red box is equal to minus 1. But that does change, and you'll see that in the next lesson. So like I know that my max value will have just been 5. And my min value will be minus 5. And where it occurs is if I solve solve these. So if I get some form of theta equals here, whatever it is, and a theta equals here, whatever it is, and that's when it occurs, and that's pretty much harmonics to be fair. Uh, right, I'm going to stop there. See you later. Bye.